Hi, I'm Stephanie Jaworski of JoyBaking.com. Today we're going to make a banana bread. First, just preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, that's 180 degrees Celsius. And then we need to butter and flour a 9 inch, 23 centimeter loaf pan. Now, a banana bread is really easy to make. We just need two bowls. You don't need an electric mixer for this at all. So in one bowl, we're going to mix all the dry ingredients together, and in the other bowl, all the wet ingredients. We'll start with the dry ingredients. We need um, one and three quarter cups, which is about 230 grams of white all-purpose flour, and uh, three quarters of a cup, that's 150 grams of granulated white sugar. And then here I have one teaspoon of baking powder, a quarter of a teaspoon of baking soda, a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, and a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. We're just going to empty that all in. And then I'm just going to use a wire whisk and just combine all, them, all the ingredients together. Make sure that cinnamon is all mixed in. And that's it for the uh, dry ingredients. Now in the second bowl, we have two large eggs. We need a, a teaspoon of pure vanilla extract, a half a cup of 113 grams of melted uh, and cooled butter, and three large bananas that have been mashed. Now you need them ripe. And you can, um, I, I just ma uh, mash the bananas with my fork, just kind of press down like this to mash them. So I'm just going to first whisk these eggs together. Just like that. And then add the vanilla, the, all the banana. and the butter. And I'm just going to whisk all that together. Don't worry if, if some of the bananas, it's, it's kind of chunky. That's, that's fine. Okay. Now, if you want, you can add about a cup of chopped walnuts, pecans, even hazelnuts is very nice, which I'm going to do here, and then just stir that in. And then, just going to add the wet ingredients to the dry. And then, I'm just going to use this rubber spatula and just stir it all together. Now, try not to overmix this. Of course, you've got to get everything all moistened but you don't want to be mixing it any longer than that or it tends to cause the bread to be a little tough. So just enough to get all that flour incorporated. Now there's all kinds of, uh, I have a few other um, banana bread recipes on the site if you would like. There's a chocolate banana bread or one with a streusel topping. And there's also a low fat, if you want to try that. Okay, so that's done. Now I'm just going to pour, best as I can, to our pan. And then just smooth it out as best as you can. Now this, we're going to bake in the oven until golden brown, and when you uh, put a toothpick in the center, it'll come out clean. And that'll take uh, somewhere around an hour. And that's it. So in the oven we go.
Our banana bread is now done. As you can see, it is a lovely golden brown color. And when I insert a toothpick into the center, it comes out clean. Just leave it like this for about 10 minutes and then take it out of the pan to, to uh, continue cooling. You can store the banana bread for several days at room temperature or it can be frozen. So until next time, I'm Stephanie Jaworski of joyofbaking.com.